Hi friends, I am speaking your friend Prabhu. Now in this video, I am telling about how to search the data in ascending order, descending order. Okay, now I am told you that concept how to search the data by order by that uh, unique order. Okay, so in before video, using the distincts, the particular columns of data only you get in this data grid view by using the uh, query concept of distinct. Okay, so how to search the data. Uh, by using the distinct concept okay in this before video but now in this video i am telling about the order by using the order by query okay so i am such that data by using the order by query i mean ascending order descending order what do you want you are using uh, you can set the manual also okay i am told to you the dynamic concept okay so i am going to uh, manually you can search the data in data grid view okay so i am going to declare in this place See, select all the data from this uh, data table. So, this all the data uh, get from uh, database to uh, in this data grid view. Okay, so how to fill it? So, I am declaring in this place one search button. Okay, so this need not this one, and then this one also need not, and then this one also need not. And then this one also need not. Okay, so this one button needed. This time go to declare here. Okay, now it's needed. Okay, not a problem. Okay, now I am fixed it. And then also I am declare this button. Okay, now I am declare another two radio button to this place. So it's not a problem. Uh, first, I am going to talk to you step by step. First, I am going to set the title here. Uh, title here, I am declaring distinct distinct. I am declare here ascending ascending or uh, Ascending or descending okay. So I am said that title to this concept. Uh, now I am go to declare this such data in data can be using ascending descending uh, career okay so I am go to ascending order okay okay I am set the title now whenever clicking this button that time that that columns name i'm declared in this place and then search means that columns ascending order descending order you can get okay so i'm going to declare this search button here i am going to uh, search this query we need not so i am remove this query now i'm declared that select all star means all select all from select all uh, from register select all from register and then order by order by mm, I'm declaring here order by uh, the text box okay so I'm declared the text box in this place okay text box one dot text okay control s uh, now i'm go to show in this place i'm declaring here um ascending okay control s okay now i'm go to search it uh, run it what happens see in this uh, data grid in this run mode event 
okay i'm show to you now i'm declare in this place uh, id okay id i'm set the data as so 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 14 data as uniquely came okay but that um, prabha prabha it's not a order alphabetical order okay it's not a alphabetical order okay it's a an order list okay so it's order list okay uh, that it's a unique number okay uh, increment number okay so uh, it's a uniquely order by i'm declared that id okay uh, see in this place um, it's not a unical okay 1 2 0 3 okay it's not unique okay it's not in, uh, incremental okay so this is the an order okay but i'm show to you in this data grid you unique okay 0 0 1 2 3 4 last power 14 okay now i'm declare in this place see it's not unique okay see finally are available but finally we need the vijay okay so i'm go to and declare the um, column name okay name column declare now i'm go to search it See alphabetical order came. Alphabetical order came in this place. Okay, so this column, but it's not a unique. Okay, see this is the unordered list. Okay, what you are declare here, that type of order only you get in this data grid. Okay, so I'm declare this name. So that propose that name column of data get uniquely. Okay, the uh, alphabetical orderly. Okay, so the alphabetical order I'm get the data from. database to this data grid view okay so finally get the vijay okay it's a ascending order if you are need to go to declare that uh, descending order means okay just to go to uh, set in this place the distinct double click this button i am declaring here descending okay descending control s and then i'm go to search it okay now i'm go to search it okay now i'm declare that id i'm declare that uh, descending order okay so i'm go to search now it's decremented number okay Uh, reverse number 14 13 so it's a descending order okay so like i'm um, this id i am declared that uh, descending order okay so i am go to refresh it so it's contain descending order okay now the name also want to descending means just click name column and then search so it's vijay thunga tirupati suresh like reverse number okay so finally having a cos okay it's reverse the uh, reverse descending order of alphabetical okay so it's not a alphabetical order okay it's not a clockwise is anti clockwise okay so like this reversely available the alphabetical order okay okay friends uh, if for selected deep it's not a uh, uh, what means what i'm say to you it's not a dynamic concept it's a if you each time you want to go to uh, declare in this place the ascending order descending order you are declared means that time only you can change that uh, data grid view data okay okay now if you want declare that uh, dynamically okay means if you want to declare dynamic concept means first i'm go to manually want to change that ascending order descending order means just i'm go control to you that concept so just copy this uh, ready button control c and control v just i am go to declare in this place control v and then also go to declare this place okay now i am go to change this text here i am declaring descending okay and then also i am go to declare in this place ascending okay Control S. Okay. Now I'm double click this button. In this place, I'm declare that one, two, 
one string for to this concept string string I'm declaring um, order orders okay and declare this orders just copy this control C this string I'm copy I'm go to declare in this place control V equal I'm declare ascending control S okay so this name I'm copy and then go to declare here okay between um, uh, I'm declare in this place double quote plus plus double quote here declare control V okay control S okay and declare the orders okay and then also I am going to declare here double this radio button descending order now just copy this code control C then control V here I am declare descending okay okay now finally I am finished it and then also finished it control S so just to copy this order and then I'm go to declare in this order by event okay so after text box now I'm go to run it now I'm declare that uh, ascending order okay now first of all I'm declare the ascending order I'm declaring ID ID and such see uniquely get that uh, data okay now I'm going to declare uh, descending now search is contain descending okay uh, the unique number not unique number okay descending order okay now I'm going to change that name name and click ascending see here alphabetically came but it's not a unique it's alphabetically came but it's not unique okay now I'm going to declare descending search so it's a reverse alphabetical okay but it's also not unique if you need unique that ID means just to go to declare ID and then descending I'm declared the descending and then search means it's reverse okay put in such as that I'm declare ascending means search it okay it's common and ascending okay Okay friends, I am told to you the how to set the manually dynamically search the data uh, by using that radio button text box and then the how to get the data ascending order and descending order. Okay, so I am told to you this concepts in this video and then step by step I am told to you many more concepts in this uh, this is of tutorial. Okay, thank you friends. Bye from now. If you have any doubts and uh, doubts means just comment to me. I will teach you and then subscribe me. Bye friends.